Welcome back. I'm in conversation with violinist Sunita Count Bhuya. Uh, Sunita, you have been traveling the world. You have been engaged in a lot of collaborative projects and your, one of your recent collaborative projects, uh, which you are still continuing for a couple of, uh, quite some time now, is called the Commonwealth Culture Series in the UK, where you are, apart from other things, you are also collaborating with Scottish uh, musicians. Tell mm -hmm. me something about that. Um, like you know, UK is the place for all the international festivals yeah. uh, and, and the cu culture series uh, has a lot of festivals under it and well, the key festivals are the Glasgow Mela, the Edinburgh Festivals, the Edinburgh yeah. Mela, uh, something new called Beyond Boundaries uh, uh, which is being done a cross-nation project where musicians go and perform. So these has been some of my rendezvous uh, in the last two to three years mm -hmm. uh, which has taken me time away from uh, the Bihu season here yeah. or, or a lot of time in, in Bombay during summer, uh, I I did Bihu few years back, and uh, and uh, I did a project in Bihu as as you would know, mm -hmm. and I realized that the, the whole pulse of our music is has got a lot of uh, a so, lot of similarity with the folk music of different parts of the world, and Ireland and Scotland having traveled to these countries mainly Scotland for the last so many years, uh, I realized that that's a great way to do some different kind of music. And uh, again, it's always a blessing. It, you want to do so many things as an artist, but you need to get that right I kind saw, of I saw a video clip of yours, you know, in Scotland where you were participating with your accompanying musicians where all people uh, from the features look people from different parts of the world, including uh, someone from Africa who was on the drums, I suppose, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, would you like to, you know, give for my viewers a s little uh, sampling of what you did there? I, I definitely would. But before I will start, I, would, I will tell you that this group which is called the Paragon Ensemble with whom I have been collaborating yeah. is also one of the few groups in the world which does music as a profession and music for disability. So oh, I was music for disability. Exactly. Music is almost on the lines of what I you are so doing. I was so surprised that a festival director put me across to, with them and I said, oh, this, there can't be more coincidence than, than this. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, when I saw their profile, you know, you, you need to come and perform with them, uh, Assamese Bihu with Scottish Folk. Uh, they do this kind of work and I also invited them to India. They become my very good friends and they mm -hmm. are working on a project with our children okay. in, in Mumbai's Plastic Society and they plan to come to Assam next year. Uh, you must get, get them to Assam. You must get them to uh, Assam. Yes, because yeah. what they do with music is, is very amazing. Yeah. They, they, they use uh, their Scottish tones, uh, tunes and some of the other tunes and then they uh, help people who are specially abled okay. to play, touch and create sounds out of things around them. So Absolutely. amazing. Now, no, let, let's hear a, a little sampling of what you did in Scotland. Yes, yeah, Scottish music, as you know, is sometimes it's a little dark and mm -hmm. sometimes it's very peppy, you know, like mm -hmm. the bagpiper and, and, and the drill, uh, drills over there. But there are, the, the highlands are there in Scotland, as you know, the deep highlands. Right. And I love those highlands and those lakes with all the, you know, mysteries and the histories of the, 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 all those, uh, uh, you know. The, You're the, almost sounding poetic. Uh, the, the monsters <laughs> over there. You're so, almost sounding <laughs> poetic. So, so there is this piece called the Dark uh, Island, which is a dark piece. And uh, when the director of the Paragon says, Sunita, this is a beautiful piece, but do you want to play it? It's a sad piece. I said, let's hear it. And I heard the piece and I said, it's so much like Rag Durga. Mm -hmm. Rag Durga yeah. of, uh, of Hindustani classical. So we, so we created, I have a recording of that piece. I'm going to give that to you next time. Yeah. It's, it's Dark Island, interpreted a bit with the Indian notes and broken into a bit of Durga. Okay, let's hear After that. Sare pa re pa ma pa ma re sa ma pa dha pa ma sa sa dha sa dha pa sa re pa re pa ma pa ma re sa. Oh, 
That's, that's great, where the African great. drums yeah. can come in. And come in, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah that, I, I, I saw that little clip. Uh, unfortunately, well, I don't know whether I'll be able to show my viewers that clip. Anyway, I mean, like you know, uh, folk experimentation. Mm -hmm. uh, your mother, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, she is supposed to be a purist. She's generally known as a purist in the form, and you are the one who don't uh, hesitate to experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, has it uh, put you in any kind of trouble any time? You know, actually, the the basis of Indian music is the seven notes, or any music in the world is the yeah. seven notes. Whether it's Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti or Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Dha Ni. So, if you have decided you're going to play a classical concert, I I wouldn't like to deviate, and my mother wouldn't let me deviate. So, if a Rag Durga has to be played, it has to be played in the late evening, and a and a Desh in the early evening, and a Tori in the morning, and and when we have decided we're going to appear doing classical, it has to be within those structures. However, if you're trying to experiment. We take bits and pieces of the classical structures and blend it with other kinds of music. Mm -hmm. But as long as music is of good quality, the notes are accurate, and it's the craft is not compromised. You know, you, the, your virtuosity. Yeah, the core has to be kept intact. Yeah, the it core. Has, yeah, it it can't be basur or betal. Uh, there is there is no script of fusion music today. We don't have a text or a school of in fusion music. There is nothing written down. A lot of debate around the world that is experimenting being done in the right way. Is fusion becoming confusion? Are people really going out of their heads to just yeah. say we are doing world music? So what's the way around it? I think if you're doing classical, you stick to classical texts. If you're doing fusion, you can experiment, but keep the sense of music. Do not take the audience for a for a ride. Do not take yourself for granted. Absolutely. Try to ensure that you are in good form. Absolutely. Kind of Don't music. take the audience for a ride. Keep the core intact. That is uh, Sunita's prescription for good classical music. On that note, we shall go for another short break, but stay on. We'll be right back.